Welcome to Blisters, I'm Oscar the Saxon. I watched this video the other day by Shadowversity where his team tries on a handful of medieval helmets. Very enjoyable and it's obvious that the team also had fun doing this. There is however one point where I have to heavily disagree with what they said. When trying on the nasal helmet, you know, they said, oh, this is quite good, I feel protected up here, yes, open here, but I can see everything, good vision, except for this blind spot down the middle. And I say, no, that's wrong. To emphasize it, they show you this, where there's this dark strip in the middle and you can't see things. Now, just simply take your hand, put it up against your face, and yes, if you close one eye, then you will not be able to see what's going on here. Open it up, close the other, you will not be able to see what's going on here. But with both eyes open, you can see your finger at all times. If you bring it right up, then yes, there's a blind spot where you can't see it. Now I know this because, guess what? I have a nasal helmet, I'm not bothering with extra padding or doing it up. Now I can see my fingertip at all times. I've got to bring it right up, literally touching the nasal before I can't see it. Just a little bit in front and I can see it with one eye or the other. This means if you're poking a spear at me, I can see that, there is no blind spot. And you can try this, don't hold your hand like that. From above, otherwise your hand will create a blind spot and you'll be able to see, you've got to be right up, right up against it to not be able to see your fingertips. So yes, there is a blind spot, but it is so small that it's really not worth talking about. Because if anything is so close to me, it's like, oh, I can't see it. I can see the rest of you. I know what's going on. The second point I'm not necessarily disagreeing with, but it's something that a lot of people have said every now and then, and I cannot understand. And that is when wearing something with a faceplate, this statement, oh dear, it becomes hard to breathe in that helmet. Now, I've literally had years of experience wearing a helmet with a faceplate, and I have to admit, mine is open down here. I've also got a little hole here, so I understand perhaps I can breathe very well, air doesn't clog up here, because I've got this hole, and some people will say, well, hang on, if that were further down and enclose my chin, I'd have that problem. But I doubt that very much, because I've got two dirty plate big holes here. So once again, here they said, oh, it's not so easy to breathe in the helmet. After a while, it gets hot down here. I can't really understand that statement. It's not what I experience. But other people have said that perhaps it's more a psychological thing that they're saying things. Oh, I'm having problems breathing. Perhaps it's just the helmet design I've got that doesn't have that problem. On the whole, really enjoyable video. I do assume that you have watched it. If not, go and check it out. That's all for me at the moment. So have a great day. See you next time.